Hi there, this afternoon activity I'm going to be demonstrating is our jingle balls. I'm going to show you how simple and really it's quite fun to do as well. A great tabletop activity to, to be doing in the run up to Christmas. We basically are making a nice little plant pot into which to put our um, indoor flowering bulbs. Take about four to six weeks to flower from planting. So if we do it this time of the year, early November time, by the middle of December, we will have lovely scented flowers. Now, this is a picture of what the, the flowers will eventually look like. Tall stems, beautiful, delicate white flowers, highly scented, very nice. Okay, so what we need is we need some plastic pipe glasses. You can be as creative as you want. You can spray paint them, make sure you do that outdoors. Um, you can decorate as much as you want. Um, I'm just going to do a, a simple version, but really your own creativity is your only limits. So plastic pot, and I'm going to go with glittery pipe cleaners, red and silver. My producer has requested I've done this in maybe silver. So this is for Sharon. Okay, so I've taken two pipe cleaners and I'm just holding them together at one end, a bit of a twist, and then I'm just twisting them round one another. The beauty of this activity is you can be as quick as you like, or for those that need a little bit of extra time and support, this can be an activity that can take up the whole afternoon if you wanted to. So I've now got two pipe cleaners twisted together. Second one, same thing, I'm just going to twist them to get a nice red and silver Christmas theme going on here. Okay. About a quarter of the way in, I'm going to twist one end of one pipe cleaner round securely, make a loop about a quarter of the way in. I'm going to twist this one again round securely and then the two ends here I'm going to twist them together. And I've now made my little handle for my pot. Place the plastic pot down through the centre, slide it up, and that's us got the basis for our pot for putting our bulbs into. At this stage, this is where you would decorate to your heart's content. Um, lots of the DIY stores and some of the bigger supermarkets um, have a whole range, especially up to Christmas, lots of Christmas decorations. So you can get little stickers, stick them on, snowmen, make your own tags. You can write the name of the person you'd like to give it to as a present. You can attach that as well. So you would do all that just now, get your pot all decorated and then we move on to the the planting of the bulbs. Now these indoor bulbs, these paper white narcissi they're called, um, don't need soil to grow in, they only need access to water. All the food, all the energy that they require is in here. So on this plastic pine glass is a little mark um, that's a great guide to how much stone I'm going to put into this pot. The stone is to give the bulbs somewhere to sit on because I don't want them sitting in the water. Yeah, just a little bit. Now this gravel you can buy out the garden centres as well or DIY stores. Um, make sure you give it a wash through before you actually start putting it in here because when you water it in here, all the, the dirty water will, will, will come out then. So give it a good rinse through before you actually put it in your plastic pots. 
I'm going to select two bulbs, heavy side down, pointy side up, and I'm just going to nestle the bulbs bottoms into the stone like so. Wiggle like so. So once we've got the bulbs settled in their resting place, we're just going to get our watering can and water down the side. Try and avoid watering the actual bulbs. Water down the side of the, the vase. And we're just going to water up to the height of the stones. The roots will then grow down into the water. Stems will start to grow and your flowers will appear here. Depending on how warm the room is that you're actually keeping the bulbs in, you may have to water them at least every second day. But check it every day, you're just making sure that the water level is always the height of the stones. More information is available in our fact sheets. Have fun doing it!